Welcome to Hydraulic Press Channel. Hi. I'm Laura. I'm Hanna. And today we are going to find out how strong are carbon fiber bolts. And after that we are going to find out how strong tools we have to have that we can finally make that i7. And if you don't remember the i7 project, the idea was to crash water so hard that it turns into rock. And yes, that's possible, but it's just really, really hard. But let's first try these. Okay, here are the carbon fiber bolts, and they work and feel very much the same as the steel bolts, only the weight is very different. And I assume that they can't be as strong. Uh, carbon fiber is really good when you are like trying to pull it apart. So I think we don't have to test that today. The weakest link is going to be probably the threads against the nut. So we are going to push it through the nut and measure how much force the threads can take. And actually let's start with the steel one. So we have a benchmark and steel bolt. I say five tons. You say? No, it's 25. <laughs> Let's see how much was it. 20 tons, not oh, a bad guess. Yeah, you were quite accurate. We are going to throw in carbon fiber bolt. And these are sent to us from uh, Stanford Advanced Materials. And they have a lot of advanced materials there on their website. So please go check it out. And if you see something interesting that we should test, please let us know and we can probably get it here for a new video idea. There is a lot of those, like, like too much to choose from. That looks pretty good. How much? I say 12. 12. That's a quite a lot. I have never seen anything like this. Yeah, I haven't either. Maybe I say 8. Okay, let's, let's find out. Something happened. Yeah. It, yeah, it's not very like uh, didn't made a lot of sound from. No. Yeah, and don't breathe carbon fiber dust. It's like asbestos of the future. <laughs> no. Okay, maybe they are not very good on that direction, but I have a new test on my mind. Let's try on the. Because that was like axial load. And I think we should try like radial load. How much it takes to like cut it in half. Let's, let's find out. Okay, now there is uh, one of these on the middle of those nuts. And outer nuts are supported on top of these steel blocks. And then we are going to push, push the middle one down. So we are going to cut this with radial load. I say two tons. Mm -hmm. How much you are going to say? 800. Okay, <laughs> quite much lower numbers on this round. Okay, did it snap in half? I think it did. Yeah. Yeah, I think this is not the like most ideal way to use carbon fiber. <laughs> there is probably a use for this, otherwise they wouldn't make them. Mm -hmm. It might be something really, really, really specific. You can here nicely see the structure. I want to film that with the uh, yeah. macro lens for your viewing pleasure. Okay, then the steel one, and I think this is going to be so strong that I don't want to put that small roller bear in there because it might explode and we don't have to save the box. But it doesn't affect the measurement. 
Uh, I think we are going to mess up our tool with this one. Okay. Oh. Was it that? We messed up the nut. Passed the nut. It really, it, it, it still works. Oh. It's like cola. It's, it's like snap in half. Yeah, I'm going to show Macrosota also from this. I didn't expect this. Yep. Yeah, really interesting. Okay, but that's all with the bolts. Okay, science time. Here I have water phase diagram. And here we have liquid. And here is the temperature. We are around here. So it's liquid. And here on the left side, we have gold and regular pouring ice. We don't want this. This is not good. We want to stay here where it's warm and go up in the pressure until we go over 2.1 gigapascals. That's science and means a lot. And to be safe, we want to go a bit even higher, like maybe 3 gigapascals. So that's 30,000 bars. It's 30 times the pressure on bottom of Mariana Trench. So that's a lot. Or 100 times the pressure of our deep sea chamber. <laughs> that, that's a quite good way to put it. So it's a lot of pressure. And because it's so much pressure, uh, our first try failed. The water just didn't stay inside. And now when we know how much of pressure we need, and I have had some time to think, it's pretty clear why our first try failed. I can show what was my first idea to make. This, the uh, way how it failed is like this. I had a hole and there was some water. And then I had piston that was bigger than the hole. And I thought like when I push that in, there is zero cap, so there is zero leaks. But when that, this, this goes to the bottom here, like this. The water pressure is so high that the steel is just too soft. It's like Play-Doh. And the water is going to just push the steel away and flow from there. So <laughs> it doesn't work. And here is our new big brain science plan. We have again hole with water on the bottom. And then we have the piston. But then we have also second piston here that has this nipple thing on the middle. And then here or around these areas, there is three seals on top of each other. And this is like rubber seal, it's soft, then it's aluminum and then it's steel. And now when we start to push from here, like a lot, like about 200 tons, this is going to push down and just the seals, not this thing here, just the seals are going to take all of the force. They are going to deliver it to this piston and it starts to crush the water. And now it starts to, of course, leak from here. But because these seals, their surface area under the load is smaller than with the water because this thing here on the middle ain't doing shit. So this has higher pressure than the water. So these are like squeezed up and all mangled up against the cylinder walls and everywhere. So the water can't go there. And the rubber one is going to be like completely destroyed. Aluminium is going to be like a bit of destroyed and the steel one is going to be almost okay. But the situation is that we are not going to have any leaks here. This is perfect. This is so, so, so wise. It can't leak from lower pressure to higher pressure. That's impossible. So this is going to work. Only, only problem here is that we have to use so much force that these parts can't be steel. They are going to crack and explode. So we need some kind of advanced materials to manufacture these. Do you know any 
Any company that sells advanced materials. I know one. There is a Stanford Advanced Materials. Yeah, you heard it right. We are going to get these from Stanford Advanced Materials. They are going to be manufactured from tungsten. Tungsten, uh, I'm not sure what type of tungsten alloy they are going to use, but they are, their science people are going to figure out what type of tungsten is best for this solution. I have drawn the parts and sent pictures there, and we are going to get the parts. Uh, they said like six weeks and they are here. And we have more problems. This is going to be even more science because this is going to be crushed, these parts, and tungsten is great for that. But then the cylinder walls, it's going to be like stretched out and tungsten might crack on there. So it can't be from tungsten. And we're going to use really high strength steel, but even that's not probably going to be enough. So we're going to do this trick, what the leak people are hating because this is going to prevent the leaks. We are going to make outer pipe here from one part of steel. And then this is going to be different part of steel. And we are going to make it in a way that the inner part is way too big for the outer part. And we are going to heat up this to like a lot and then push in this with the press. So this is going to be squeezed hard from every side. And then there is going to be a lot of stress on the steel already going in. And then when we try to go out, it's not going to go. It's going to work. Yeah, but enough of science. I want to see some stuff explode. So we are going to use, so we are going to do demonstration. What happens if we try to use steel here and not stress it steel here? So let's see how bad it could be if we don't use advanced materials. And if you want parts that are accurately machined from advanced materials, our DICE project is still going on. We have the Kickstarter page up and you can order your own CNC machined dice from there. And yes, we have the tungsten dice available. We have actually both 60 kilograms of tungsten, so we can make a lot of tungsten dice. And link to that is down in the description. Go click it out there. Okay, here is the last time's piston material. And this is the last time cylinder material. And we're going to put this here and add 30,000 bars. And we have our new lab assistants keeping eye on the experiment. It's the scale pop no brains. Yeah, it's uh, transparent. You see that he has no brains, unfortunately. Are you going to go like with, uh, with this? Without, without any, any, you can keep your. I can keep my hands. Okay, and safety glasses don't help if it goes through that window. <sighs> okay, here it goes. Oh, 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 it takes, it takes some effort to do this. Mm -hmm. And this it's is like a glove. This is really high strength, like cro chromo chromoduplenium steel. Mm. It's really hard stuff. I think we have to explore something. The setup yeah, is ready. Yeah. Okay, we are going to have competition. Me and Hanna both pick one item that is going to cause maximum damage to our lab assistants. I have mine ready here, let's mm. go, let's go. So this is a ball bearing middle with some extra seasoning. <laughs> Ripped for maximum pleasure. It looks bad at least. Yeah, but also rules are that if this doesn't explode, Mm. Then it's zero points for me. Okay. 
So you have now two options. Go even matter mm. or trust that this is not <laughs> going to explode. Okay. I choose this. And I also add some extra seasoning. So it's going to aim all that list shrapnel to Bob's face. <laughs> okay, that's pretty good plan. Let's see how it goes. Okay. First, ring of pleasure. Uh-huh. It's really strong, but it's some grinder work, so... Is it full pressure? Yeah. Oh, oh no! It didn't explode. <laughs> <laughs> High speed. <laughs> I think you have pretty good chance on winning this one. That wasn't terrible at all. Here goes, what is this name? It's, it's a nut ball. <laughs> nut, nut ball. <laughs> yeah, here goes Hannes nut ball. Uh oh, it <laughs> goes. Uh oh. <laughs> <coughs> I would say that the ball was stronger than the nut. Yeah, and our tools. <laughs> <laughs> and the tool. Oh, it went like really bad. Oh my... <laughs> oh, oh. oh, there is a huge hole. Let's get that out of there. I think that's done. That's done. Had a, a great day. Oh. I would say that the Bob had an exciting day. Mm. <laughs> yeah, I think this is quite good demonstration why we need a bit of planning and advanced materials when uh, yeah. trying to reach the, <laughs> reach the pressures that we were planning for the I-7. Yeah. Holy shit, no joke. I have never seen that bad damage. Mm -hmm. And then not did this, didn't it? Yeah, yeah, and uh, like, what is this? It's been like absolute play do between here. Uh, it's the nut it's been, it's, it's like this. Yeah. Yeah, you can nice. see. It's like a puzzle. That's, that's a bit terrifying, I have to admit. I think this this puts the whole project. This is like really good idea mm -hmm. of the whole project. That is like the pressure here wasn't that much higher mm -hmm. than the pressure that we tried to create for the water. So uh, it's not going to be easy. No. But we are going to try our very best. So subscribe the channel to see that. That is all for today. And have a nice day.